Hi today from the noisy Hollywood. Today we will talk about the delayed gratification in business and what does it have to do with Star Wars. See you in the next part. And the next recipient of our Twilio Award, Rafael Batian. Ready, set, go. Delayed gratification in a business. What does it mean and what does it have to do with Star Wars? Let's start maybe with the term of delayed gratification. You have certainly heard of the marshmallow test. Marshmallow test was an experiment that was conducted, I guess, in the Stanford University in the 1950s, 1960s. And what they did is they gave children a marshmallow, one piece of a marshmallow, and the kids were given the choice to eat that marshmallow immediately or to wait 15 minutes in order to get another marshmallow. In 15 minutes, if they were able to delay the gratification for 15 minutes, they were given another marshmallow and then they could eat two marshmallows, right? And some percentage of kids managed to do that and other kids didn't manage to do that. But the interesting part of the experiment came later because at the time of this experiment, the kids were five year old. And um, after 10 years, 10 years later and 15 years later, the other groups of um, researchers made the second part of the experiment just uh, analyzing the same people the same kids that then became um, teenagers or even adults they analyzed the performance at school and also in some uh, intelligence tests or ability tests and what they found out is that uh, the uh, kids that were able to delay the gratification they scored much higher in these tests, in, the, in these aptitude te tests, in the, this SAT test, and also in the intelligence tests. But what they actually haven't researched and couldn't research maybe is how this gratification applies to business. It is widely claimed in the literature that the delayed gratification um, leads you to success, right? There are many sources, there are many claims saying that uh, if you delay your gratifications, you'll be more successful. It may be like that, but it, it, it hasn't actually be, been proven um, scientifically. There, there were no research proving that if you delay your gratification, you will be more successful in life. You may be more successful as an employee or more successful in school but generally success in life i think it's uh, something else than success as an employee um, uh, or success in school it could well be that this delayed gratification actually leads to a perfect citizen to a perfect cock in somebody else's machine but how does it apply to business how does it work out in business and here in this video i want to risk the statement that uh, this delayed gratification actually leads to great success in business and not by accident i'm uh, talking about uh, this from hollywood because i want to tell you um, the story or the reason why george lucas became the wealthiest um, producer in Hollywood, the wealthiest film producer in Hollywood and in the world. When you take the rich list of all the celebrities, or the actors or people in entertainment business, you will find that the richest person 
in that industry is George Lucas with 5.5 billion dollars. And how come he became so wealthy and so rich? If you don't know who George Lucas is, I will tell you. George Lucas is the man behind Star Wars. In the 1970s, he created a production company, Lucasfilm, and he produced a movie called American Graffiti. Uh, for that movie, he got $150,000 deal from um, some of the top uh, film studios here in Hollywood. And uh, this movie became uh, quite successful. I don't know the statistics, but it was a very good movie. And then he was pitching another movie that he was dreaming about for a long time. It was a movie about um, space, about some space adventures, um, and so on and so on. It uh, turned out it is the Star Wars uh, movie. When he found a film studio that wanted to produce that, uh, he was offered a deal of $500,000 to produce uh, for his work. Of course, the budget of the movie was uh, much higher, but for his work, he was offered uh, the, or for the company, for the work of the company, he was offered the deal of $500,000 it was big money at that time it was in the beginning of um, 70s I think 71 or 74 so in today's dollars it would be probably around five million several million dollars right and you would never guess what he did with that offer he actually declined that offer and George Lucas said, no, I don't want uh, to take $500,000 for that. I want you to pay me only $150,000. But I want uh, you to grant me the merchandise uh, rights for uh, the uh, movie. And also, if there is any sequel, I will have uh, the rights uh, for the sequels. So he delayed his gratification. He didn't want to take uh, the big money, the p big paycheck. First, he wanted to wait and uh, play it uh, the long term and play the long term game. And um, I think it was 21st Century Pictures who um, uh, was the film studio, film company behind the um, Star Wars uh, film, Star, Star Wars movie, and they accepted. They say, okay. It's a great deal, we have to pay only $150,000. Uh, and you would think this was a bad deal for George Lucas, but what happened in the future is the first movie grossed in the uh, box office $220 million in the first six months and two and a half billion dollars over the uh, next many years. And what did uh, George Lucas do? He built a merchandise company, a toy company, and he sold toys for $12 billion until now. And today, every year, he sells around $3 billion in toys. But that's not all. The sequels brought around $4 billion in the theaters. Four billion dollars on DVDs and VHS cassettes, two billion dollars in books, and almost two billion dollars in licensing. Everything was produced by uh, his company Lucasfilm, and he managed now to sell this company to Disney for four billion dollars. This was partly. Um, um, stock swap, partly uh, cash, but it's not all. During the production of Star Wars The First Part, he set up a company called Industrial Lights and Magic. Um, it was a special effect company that made the special effects for uh, Star Wars. And this company made later special effects for many movies like Harry Potter, like Jurassic Park, 
like uh, Back to the Future and George Lucas sold that company to Steve Jobs. Uh, it was, so to say, uh, the basis to create Pixar. And many years later, some years later, Pixar was sold to Disney for $7.3 billion. So this is the value uh, George Lucas created through this special deal. Some time ago, he sold uh, his Lucasfilm also to Disney for $4 billion. Altogether, uh, as of the time I am uh, making this video, the net worth of George Lucas is $5.5 billion. This is amazing. This is the uh, richest person in the film industry, the richest person here in Hollywood. And this is everything, the effect of delayed gratification. Because you know how many sequels he was able to produce to this Star Wars saga. And he was able to delay his gratification. He was able to um, give up $350,000 uh, uh, on additional fees for this one movie in order to scoop several billion dollars um, in the long run. So this is the power of delayed gratification in business. And I can tell you, this is how great people in business, great entrepreneurs, uh, the most successful entrepreneurs, how the self-made billionaires think and act. I hope you like this video. If yes, give me a thumb up, subscribe below and don't forget to hit the bell button. I invite you to comment. Um, what is your opinion? What is your perspective? What are your thoughts about this topic? Um, share this video with your loved ones, with your friends. They will thank you for that. I talk here a lot about SafeMate and billionaires. I talk about how the most successful entrepreneurs in the world think and act and how to do impossible things in your life. I also talk a little bit about uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, about my experiences with investments in cryptocurrencies. So if you are interested in that area, I invite you to watch my other videos. That's it from Hollywood today. I wish you a fantastic day. Let's do something extraordinary today.